today. Bit of a different video. We're going to be searching for hollow earth. Now, hollow earth is a place underneath the surface of the earth, I believe in it, uh, where there is like lots of trees like this. It looks like this. They have their own sun and everything. And I'm at Buckley Bay, I talked about before. I think this is the prime source for Hollow Earth. I think this is where Hollow Earth can be found. As we're walking, I believe that it's bear poop. I could be wrong, but I just want to take this time to talk about Hollow Earth and try to find it. See if we can find anything. Now Hollow Earth, that's where the skinwalkers come from in Bigfoot. Because they're not from planet Earth, they're from Hollow Earth. They come out from underground. All these other forests are. I think that's the best explanation for them. And they just crawl up through these caverns, big long caverns that are too hard to explore for people. But Hollow Earth is pretty much already confirmed real as a while ago in Vietnam they found a cave which had a forest in it. And that's where giant flying foxes were first discovered. And what the hell is that? I saw a little something running around. The bird. You know, I was thinking of making this a nature hike. But this is just like, oh wow. That's rare. Well, anyways, this is just like too good of an opportunity to pass up. I mean, maybe I'll come back one time and do a nature hike here. But for now, I'm just gonna call it Hollow Earth. I'm trying to find Hollow Earth day one. Lots of strange kindling area. This is something I noticed about this place. This used to be a logging area. There's lots of this around here. So essentially anything paranormal we find can lead to Hollow Earth and add to the evidence of Hollow Earth. Look at this view. Isn't that nice? I love this place. No one ever comes here. It's just me. You know, Wolf Lake, that used to be my go-to spot. All these people started showing up. No one knows about this place. Oh, well, it's just me. Like, it's in Buckley Bay, but I'm not going to say where. It's a specific part. I don't want anyone to know. More bear poo. Thinking about holstering my bear spray. That's getting to be a lot. Strange amounts, actually. Maybe it's Bigfoot poo. I don't mean that ironically. Very well could be. Oh shit, dead bird. Weird, no visible injury. You have to investigate. Still alive. That's very weird. Not one piece of visible injury to this bird, and it's dead.
Do birds just die? Do they literally just drop out of the sky one day and... Insects are already running through it. Well, it looks like we found our first piece of evidence, everyone. Let's investigate. The neck actually appears to be broken. But that could just be because it's limp. But then again, what would break its neck? Nope, neck is in place. Hmm. This is strange. Just gonna keep that there and keep walking. And no, I did not, that's not fake. I I have to, I'm going to have to do my research tonight and see if birds can just drop out of the sky. Well, I think this trail is good enough. That's just going to go back to the road, probably. By the way, this is a dirt road. I think I've gotten video of this entire place before. I have gotten video of the dirt road, and I just have to upload it. Damn, man. The bird. Dead. Not one sign of death. Now, essentially birds could just die like us, right? I guess.